Panasonic GH5, Canon 80D, Sony A7R. No matter what you're rolling with, most people can agree that the best camera is the one you've got with you. The one you can take out and capture a moment when the moment happens. These days, the phones in our pockets are becoming more and more capable as cameras. In fact, whole feature films have been shot on smartphones. Now, maybe you don't want to make the next tangerine. Maybe you just want to, you know, your Instagram videos or your YouTube blog to look better. Don't worry. Either way, I've got you covered. Here are five tips to recording better video on your smartphone. First, let there be light. Smartphone cameras, no matter how much they say they've got great low light performance, have small sensors and small lenses. Out of necessity, it's got to fit in your pocket. So the more light you can get on your subject, the better your video will look. Moreover, the brighter the scene, the less noise you'll have in your footage from the camera compensating from low lighting. This is the easiest way to make your videos look better. If you're outside, pointing your camera away from the sun is a great way to leverage that big key light in the sky. Of course, you can always buy a light to use with your phone, particularly if you're doing arm's length selfie blogs type videos. I found this one online for 13 bucks and it works incredibly well for lighting a subject over a short or medium distance. And it produces that oh so desirable ring eye effect. Second, turn your phone. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna tell you that vertical video is evil or whatever. These days, vertical video is not a big deal. But unless you want your videos to have a Blair Witch Project sort of look to them, a big amount of making any video look good is stability. Holding your phone sideways lets you hold it with both hands, securely, which makes it easier to avoid that shaky cam aesthetic giving you much smoother shots. It'll also make your video more viewable on non-mobile screens, which is important if you plan on posting your video outside of social media platforms. Of course, if you're not moving around a lot, the ultimate instability is a tripod. With one of these dealies, I got off the dollar store selfie stick, you can securely attach your phone to anything with a quarter inch thread. Third, sound matters. The simple truth is that people won't want to watch your videos if they sound like, well, like this. And for sure, some phones have better mics than others. But if you find yourself with less than stellar audio quality, you might want to invest in an external microphone for your phone. There are lots of different mics and the mic you get should fit your use case. But if you're doing a solo shoot, I recommend the Rode SmartLav Plus, a lavalier microphone designed specifically for use with smartphones. How does it perform? Well, like this actually. I've been using it for my videos for the greater part of the last two years. Now granted, I connected to a portable recorder instead of my phone, but it is a great little mic for the price. Fourth, Pro Mode iPhones and most higher-end Android phones offer fine grain control over the camera settings with a pro mode. Things like shutter speed, frame rate, ISO, white balance, and manual focus. Learning how to use these controls will help you compose some really great looking shots that you might not have thought were possible with a smartphone. To learn more about how frame rate and shutter speed can affect your videos, click up here. Finally, fifth, shoot high, edit low. Modern phones can shoot up to 4K video, even my Note 5 over here. But most people don't or even can't watch videos in that high of a resolution. This opens up a big opportunity for content creators. If you shoot in 4K but edit in 1080p, you can take advantage of post-production tricks that can make up for trouble during filming. You can do stuff like apply stabilization to the video, or crop tighter into the video without losing any detail or resolution. I've known people who shoot in 4K, edit in 1080p or 720p, and crop in to create multiple camera angles. So, there you go. Five tips to making the most of your smartphone's camera. Now go out there and start filming. Uh, but first, 
If you have a question about media that you're just burning to get answered, then go ahead and ask away in the comments below. If you like the show or, you know, maybe you're just interested in this sort of stuff, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you really like this show, then why not support us on Patreon, just like these fine folks. Doing so will get you sneak peeks at future episodes and other projects, as well as other perks, like free images and videos for you to use in your next project. Links to all of those up there and down in the doobly-doo.